In the 2030s, there's something gliding silently through the sky, invisible to any radar. A weapon that can bypass even America's most advanced air defense systems. China's H-20 stealth bomber isn't just an aircraft. It's a strategic move that could permanently shift the global balance of power. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how China turned this $10 billion project into a threat against America's most advanced B-21 Raider. And here's the interesting part. Western experts said this aircraft would never work, but the truth is far more complex. In 2016, People's Liberation Army Air Force General Ma Xiaotian made an announcement. We are developing a new generation long range bomber, he said at the time. Nobody took it seriously, because China's H-6 bomber fleet at that time was actually a licensed copy of the Soviet Union's 1950s era Tu-16 technology. According to Western analysts, it was impossible for China to produce a modern stealth bomber. But something changed in 2022. Chinese state media announced that the H-20's first test flight was very close. In 2024, a Chinese Air Force commander said it would be revealed very soon. And in January 2025, leaked images on Chinese social media suggested test flights may have already occurred. So what's really happening here? According to the US Department of Defense, the H-20 will be a flying wing design with a range of at least 8, 500 kilometers and a payload capacity of at least 10 tons. Rand Corporation notes that this will allow China to reliably threaten US rising targets within and beyond the second island chain including critical U.S. military bases in Guam and Hawaii. Hawaii. We're talking about a weapon that can strike directly at America's heartland. But you might be thinking, okay, it's a powerful aircraft, but America has the B-21 Raider. Can China really compete? This is precisely where the story gets interesting. Because American intelligence officials explicitly stated the H-20 will probably not be nearly as good as American low observable platforms. The Chinese have encountered many technical design challenges in terms of how to make that system capability function the same way as a B-2 or B-21. Wait a second. If America's own intelligence officials say China can't succeed, why is the Pentagon so concerned that this aircraft will become operational in the 2030s? And more importantly, why are Chinese analysts claiming the B-21 Raider is being rushed into production? A Chinese military expert said, production typically only begins after demonstration and prototype phases, which can take years. Such a hasty progression could lead to many unforeseen technical problems that could ultimately delay the project. There's a perception war being waged here. And the truth is, this isn't just about technology. It's about who bluffs better, who spends more money, and, most importantly, who will control the Pacific Ocean in the 2030s. I spent the last three weeks reading thousands of pages of military reports, analyzing analyses from Chinese and American experts, and even decoding the results of a war simulation conducted by a Chinese research team. And what I found for you is surprising. In this video, I'm going to show you the H-20's real capabilities, how it stacks up against America's B-21, and, most critically, who could win if these two aircraft face off in the future? But first, to understand this story, you need to know exactly what the H-20 is and why it's so important. So what's the biggest advantage China gives this aircraft? Most people say stealth technology and move on. But the reality goes much deeper. Let me tell you about two different approaches. First approach, the American way. The B-21 Raider comes with a price tag starting at $550 million. Rosa in 2010 values approximately $750 million today. Open systems architecture, digital twin technology, integrated software for future upgrades. Every detail is flawless. Second approach, the Chinese way. Silent development, leaks from state media, computer-generated images from semi-official sources, even the total cost isn't clear, but estimates are around $10 billion, which is more effective. Surprisingly, the answer isn't what you think. Let's look at the H-20's design. Flying wing configuration, just like the B-2 Spirit. No vertical surfaces, minimizing the radar cross-section. 
concealed air intakes, smooth aerodynamic lines. But here's the most interesting part. Chinese engineers didn't just copy American models. Computer-generated images published in a 2022 issue of Modern Weaponry magazine by state-owned Norinco confirmed. Internal weapons bay, dark gray radar absorbing coating, sawtooth air intakes, cranked kite-shaped wings, foldable twin tail surfaces that can transition between horizontal tailplane and V-tail. Hold on a moment. These details may sound technical to you, but here's what really matters. These features allow the aircraft to penetrate heavily defended airspace against modern American and allied surface-to-air systems. So the H-20 isn't just stealthy, it's designed to actively deceive enemy radars. And here's the ironic part. Western experts said for years, China just copies. But now Pentagon reports acknowledge that the H-20 can reliably threaten beyond the second island chain. Who's copying whom? But the H-20's real power isn't just in invisibility. The real power is in what it carries. And this part will surprise you. 20 to 45 tons. That's the weapons payload the H-20 can carry in a single flight. For comparison, that's equivalent to the weight of approximately 22 smart bombs, or four hypersonic cruise missiles. But numbers are only half the story. The internal weapons bay design maintains stealth characteristics by concealing weapons inside the fuselage. Unlike the H-6 carrying missiles externally, the H-20 hides everything inside. According to Pentagon reports, the H-20 can carry conventional and nuclear weapons, long-range cruise missiles, CJ-10K, 1,200-plus mile range, precision-guided bombs, hypersonic weapons under development. Now let's put this in strategic context. China's current bomber fleet, composed of the H-6 family, has a maximum range of 3,500 kilometers. That can reach Japan, but not Hawaii or Guam. The H-20 has an estimated range of 8,500 to 13,000 kilometers. This means it can strike U.S. military bases in Hawaii. It can threaten strategic facilities in Guam. It can even reach Alaska. Wait a minute. This isn't just about longer range. This means China's ability to surpass the second island chain. What is the second island chain? U.S. Pacific strategy is built on three island chains. First chain, Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, encircling China. Second chain, Guam, Mariana Islands, regional U.S. bases. Third chain, Hawaii, Alaska, near U.S. Mainland. Until now, China could threaten the first chain. With the H-20, it can threaten the second, and potentially the third chain. This changes the rules of the game. But now the question is, if the H-20 is this powerful, why does America still claim superiority? And more importantly, in a real conflict, which one wins? For the answer to this question, we need to look at a simulation conducted by a Chinese research team. Imagine, mid-2030s, over the Pacific Ocean. A B-21 Raider and its escort drones are on a strategic mission. American air defense systems are on full alert. But there's something unknown. In the sky, somewhere radars can't see, an H-20 and its own drone fleet are waiting. Who strikes first? A Chinese research team simulated exactly this scenario. The results were surprising. China. With a combination of advanced hardware, and new tactics was able to detect opponents first. In the war game, a B-21-like stealth platform and its companion drones were shot down by Chinese air-to-air -air missiles capable of reaching Mach 6 speed. Stop! This simulation was done by the Chinese, so it could be biased. But the important detail here is in how they won. China's advantage in the simulation was based on three factors. Hypersonic missiles, air-to-air -air missiles capable of Mach 6 speed drone fleet, escort unmanned aerial vehicles, first detection, advanced radar and sensor technology. But the simulation also questioned, what would the American counter-strike be? And here's the interesting part of the story. America's answer would be the B-21's open systems architecture and digital twin technology. This means the B-21 can be updated in real time, instantly adapting to new threats. The H-20 has a more traditional development process. 
less flexible, but potentially more durable. So here we see two different philosophies. Feature America, B-21 Raider, China, H-20, cost, 750 million, aircraft, 10 billion, total program. Design, philosophy open systems, continuous upgrades, solid foundation, long lifespan production strategy, rapid prototyping, careful, slow development, technological advantage software, digital twin hypersonic weapons, range operational date mid 2020s, first delivery 2030s, estimated. But the truth is, no simulation can fully reflect real warfare. Because in a real conflict, the winner isn't just technology, the real winner, whoever plays better strategy. Now I'm going to tell you something nobody talks about. The real war between the H-20 and B-21 isn't happening in the sky. It's happening in the realm of perception. American intelligence officials explicitly say the H-20 won't be as good as the B-21. Chinese analysts say the B-21 was rushed. There will be technical problems. They're both bluffing. Because concealing real military capabilities is a critical part of modern warfare. A few examples. China announced the H-20 in 2016, but didn't leak real images until 2025. Why? Because they're managing competitors' expectations. America made the B-21's first flight in December 2022, but still keeps details classified. Why? Because they're protecting their technological advantages. Both sides say the other is weak. Why? Because psychological superiority is as important as physical superiority. So the real question isn't, which aircraft is better? The real question is, which country is deceiving its rival better? And here's the irony. While the Pentagon says H-20 is not a threat, it's simultaneously increasing the number of bases in the Pacific. While China says peaceful rise, it's increasing its military budget by 7% plus every year. It's not what they say. It's what they do that shows the truth. So what will actually happen as a result of all this? When the H-20 becomes operational in the 2030s, how will the world change? I'll give you the answer in the final section. Now let's bring all the pieces together. H-20's advantages, 8,500, oh, 13,000 kilometers range, 20, 45 ton payload capacity, hypersonic weapons integration, ability to surpass the second island chain, B-21's advantages, open systems architecture, digital twin technology, proven stealth capabilities, experienced personnel and doctrines. But here's the most important point. This isn't just competition between two aircraft. This is a technology race that will determine the balance of power in the 21st century. When the H-20 becomes operational in the 2030s, China will be able to directly threaten US mainland for the first time. US bases in the Pacific could become vulnerable. The balance of nuclear deterrence could shift, but at the same time, America's B-21 fleet, targeting 100 plus aircraft, will be at full capacity. New air defense systems will be deployed. A stronger network with allies will be established. So who wins? The real answer, neither. Because the real purpose of these aircraft isn't to fight, it's to prevent war. Military strategists call this deterrence. Both sides are trying to be so powerful that the other won't dare attack. And perhaps that's ultimately the best scenario. To recap, the H-20 is China's ability to surpass the second island chain and threaten America on its own soil. The B-21 is America's tool to maintain technological superiority and assure its allies. But the real story, if these two technologies face each other in the sky in the 2030s, the winner won't be technology. It will be strategy. If you watched this video to the end, you now understand what they really mean when the news says China's new bomber. It's not just an aircraft, it's a move in the global power game. But this was only the technology part of this story. In my next video, I'm going to show you China's unmanned drone fleet strategy and how it integrates with the H-20. Because the real threat isn't a single aircraft, it's a coordinated network of systems. Don't miss that video. Click the link appearing on screen. And if you enjoyed these kinds of in-depth analyses, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. See you in the next video.